hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create an app which will select uh, image uh, from gallery or camera and uh, in this video i'll be talking about with permission handler like when you click on this button it will ask for certain permission so you will have to allow the permission then you will be able to select image from gallery or camera and after selecting the image you will it will also allow you to uh, give an option for cropping the image so after cropping when you will press on select button it will show your image here so let me show you demo so this is my app running when i am pressing it is asking for permission and it is for camera basically now it is asking for storage permission media permission because you will access gallery for selecting image if you will allow this then it will open camera or gallery for now i'm just going to select gallery and i'll select this image now this is the image crop part so you can adjust this according to and if you will place on this tick button it will show here so without in a without any delay let's get started i uh, just want to request you if you are new here then please subscribe to my channel like the video so first of all you will have to add these three packages image cropper basically it is for cropping the image image picker which allows you to select image from camera or gallery and permission handle handler it will ask you for certain permission for now i'm using camera and media permission and i will also show you how to use another permissions as well so these are the three packages i will put the link of my code in the description box you can check it from there so let me close this and there are also certain settings which you will have to done in android main manifest file also which will be located here inside android app src main and this is android manifest so first of all you will have to add these permissions write external store read write permission camera permission and internet permission also because uh, whatever your app is you will going to use internet permission so by default uh, i used to add this in my every application it is not necessary for this application but you can add it so this is the thing and uh, one more thing you will have to add this inside this application tag and inside this activity no not inside outside this activity you will have to add this line for image cropping that's it for setting and one more thing lastly you will have to add compile sdk version 33 mine was 32 it was not working that is why i made it to 33 so these are the error which you may face that is why i'm going to tell you tell you in this video so that you can apply this functionality without any hassle so let's get started so this is my home screen basically and it is stateful widget first of all i have created image file file type image file which is uh, the type of uh, this image file is file and for now it is null 
and I have taken this because when I will fetch image from gallery or camera I will store it in this image file and after in this build method it is scaffold app bar this is the basic design as you all know and inside body it is center and column this size box of spacing of 20 and then I am checking this condition on the basis of image file right now it is null so if it is null then I am showing image from my asset this is the path of image from my asset there it is this is asset and once there is image inside image file when I will select image from camera or gallery then it will come inside this condition and it will round this clip are rect border radius of 150 because my height and width is 300 that is why I have taken 150 you can apply any value according to your use and this time there will be image file that is why I have taken here image dot file and this file file name and these are the some basic properties of image widget and after that this is spacing and then there is elevated button so this is the basic elevated button and the main thing is inside elevated button is this on press so what I am going to do here let me run this once again this is the default image and when I am going to press this button it will not ask for permission now because I have already given the permission I will run the app after uninstalling it it will ask for permission again for now I am just going to tell it how the permission is asking so it is like map and this is the permission type and this is the permission status and this is my status and inside this I am using await because it will wait for few uh, minutes or wait for few time for uh, getting the permission so inside this array first of all I am checking permission storage and after separating comma I am asking for permission for camera suppose uh, you are using audio player in your application then you can ask for permission for audio player like this permission dot audio so there are many things available like camera microphone phone permission bluetooth permission so actually I don't need any kind of permission right now that is why I'm not using a, uh, any other permission here for now I'm using storage and camera and once I have given the permissions it will store inside this status and after that I'm checking here this condition status permission storage is granted and status camera is granted then it will come inside this otherwise it will print no permission provided or you can use toast any toast message snack bar message to show user that you have denied the permission and for the next time you will have to go to your phone setting and keep permission from there so for now I have applied uh, here permission handler and when I am going to tap uh, when I tapped on this button in the beginning of this video I have given all the permissions so it will come inside this show picker show image picker so let's see what it is it is basic basically a show model bottom sheet bottom sheet that is why it is coming from the bottom and 
inside this it is taking concept context sorry yes and also i have created image figure for picking the image and it is a final type it is show model bottom sheet inside this this is the same context and this is build this is builder and it will return a card so whatever inside this it is a card and then image sorry icon then text then icon and text basically it is a row column thing i'm just going to tell you i'm setting the container width and height with this property and i have separately created a video on model show model model bottom sheet you can check my video so for now first of all it is row then inside expanded i have taken inkwell and this is the on tap functionality for gallery and again it is the on tap functionality for camera so this is the basic coding i'm not going to explain it so on tap of this gallery it will go to this method this is the method and this is the picker that i have initialize here this is the image picker so when i will click on gallery button it will redirect to this method image from image from gallery and what it will do it will in initialize picker dot pick image and source will be image dot source dot gallery i'm reducing the quality of image by 50 and when i will select the image from gallery this is the value and i'm checking that if value is not null then i'm calling this crop image function so same is happening for camera also i'm calling the same function crop image because after selecting image from camera it is going to image crop per screen so this is the method for that let's jump into that this is it crop image it is accepting a file so value that i am getting here i am converting it into file so this is the way you can convert value dot path and wrap it inside file like this so it is converted into file a sync and then using this image file here crop image image cropper dot crop image you will use exactly like this so inside the source path it will be the file path that i have taken from gallery or camera and also there is checking certain condition for android and ios aspect ratio presets if platform is android then this value will be taken here and if it is ios then this value will be taken here this is also android ui setting you can handle color of app bar or this text from here if it is android you can change if you want another ui or color from here if it is android you can change it from here so after cropping this it will 
return value inside this crop field i will put the code on github and will share the link with you people so you can easily copy paste my code in your project so after we will get the value inside this cropped file so i'm checking here if it is not null then i will clear the image cache and then i will use it cropped file dot path as file inside this image file and will set state this set state basically you know that what it will do it will refresh our screen again and when you will check this i have applied condition here our build method will run again and this time my image file will not be run so it will be my image from gallery or camera will be shown inside this circular image view like this let me crop this when you will will click on this it will set state and this time my image file is not null because i have initialized it with this crowd file dot path so it is not null right now so this widget is calling here so there are several more things that you can do here let me show you i'm clicking from my camera like this you can do cropping from here also there are several options available like this you can rotate you can increase decrease so there are couple of things you can do with this packages so yep that's it for now and uh, hope to hope to see you next time in our next video thanks for now thanks for watching bye for now